Well, I've uh, started making a rolling coil, and like uh, you know, what I've done is I've, I've mapped out uh, 10 degrees across each of them there, and like uh, I've uh, made sure I've rolled up enough wire to be able to do it, and like uh, yeah, what I've made it out of is uh, I've seen on the internet that. Uh, people using the Fisher Price ones so like uh, what I've done is I've used the biggest one I could find and uh, as I'm making it I'm, I'm quite amazed at the uh, complexity of it <laughs> the, uh, uh, either side the uh, it's uh, mathematically, so it, it, it's brilliant. But I've uh, temporarily done my uh, first coil now, and look, uh, it is looking quite nice. The uh, now uh, what I've done is uh, I've soldered up a couple of lugs onto the uh, the two ends of the windings. Just to see where it's like uh, before I put the uh, secondary and thirdary coil on there. I've just took this straight up to my signal generator. And uh, something I've found, which is quite interesting, is uh, it's mainly North Pole in here. Apart from if you uh, change the DC offset. So uh, I can show you that now by uh, putting a, uh, a magnet in the middle. Uh, making it vibrate due to the uh, uh, frequency we're going to get from this and uh, and then changing the offset just here the uh, signal generator uh, at roughly uh, 1 hertz which is 1 cycle per second uh, I've got that directly hooked up all the way around to my coil now now I've only got one winding on the quarter second and I temporarily just soldered two lugs to it. Now, if you can look at the coil like uh, here, you can see how like, nice it looks. So the, uh, you, you can see the maths in it. That uh, it's uh, it's a very nice uh, shape, as it were. Now uh, I've got a neodymium magnet here, which is on some string. If I place that in the middle. see that every second is going to turn over so if we increase that now roughly two sped it up now So I think the interesting thing will start happening when we go in the uh, higher range at uh, roughly 200 you can hear it humming or well, I can't, I don't know if it's coming over the oh, that's better alright now if I was to increase this now from 200 hertz to it's just gone over 400 600 700 that's 1000 hertz now as you can see and that's uh, producing a sine wave through it and if we continue to that's 2000 hertz now and if we go up another scale and then drop it back down so we're on uh, 2000 hertz again That's 10,000. 
but something I found quite interesting is uh, if we drop that back down to about 5,000 ish and then uh, uh, we've got a thing called a DC offset now uh, the DC offset is uh, how or where the zero voltage is now if I turn it to the right now it wants to turn towards the right if I turn it all the way to the left it wants to turn to the left if you can just see that now it's gone all that way and now it's gone all that way I thought it was quite interesting, so we'll leave that in the centre for now. And then uh, let's see if we can get any more audible noises from it. I think we're uh, way beyond hearing there. Cause what I've been playing around with is the fact that uh, I've got my uh, iPod here or iPhone. It's okay, it's playing at the moment, it's going all the way around to. Uh, a small amplifier with the inputs. Now uh, I'm just running it off a small battery, and uh, if I was to place just a speaker on top, uh, I say a speaker, uh, just a magnet. You can hear noise coming from it. The orientation of the uh, the magnet does make a difference. Now I'm just going to try this with a neodymium now. There's definitely something in that. Like, uh, I think that uh, perhaps we could use that for a speaker. But uh, it'd be very interesting to get the other two coils on there and see what else we can uh, we can gather from this. Just another little thought I had was that uh, maybe we could amplify it with a bit of tin foil. Uh, so uh, what I've done over here is uh, I'm just going to plug my iPhone back in again I'm going to press play and plug it all the way in and listen to this now you can hear it slightly If we were to put a nice bit of tin foil across that, now I find that quite shocking. Let's turn it down slightly. You're getting a, a proper sound out of that, I mean, which is great. Thanks for watching.